Hello everyone. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how you can burn songs from your iTunes library onto a CD. Once the CD is created, it'll be playable on any audio CD player. Let's say, for example, that I would want to burn these three songs onto a CD. Basically, what I'm going to be doing is creating a playlist with those three songs in it, and then burning that playlist to the CD. Let's get started. First off, make sure you're in the music section of your iTunes library. Then, near the top, select Playlists. Then, in the bottom left-hand corner of your screen, click the plus button. Then select the new playlist button. You can name the playlist whatever you'd like. For this tutorial, I'll just simply be naming it Mix 3. From here, you can simply drag your songs that you want into your playlist. You can also drag the songs into your playlist by control clicking on each song and then dragging them as a whole. Once you have done this, click Done. From here, you will see your playlist. You can reorder the playlist however you'd like. Once you have it reordered the way you want, find your playlist on the left, right click it, and hit Burn Playlist to Disk. Here you will see a number of options. For the preferred speed, I would recommend doing the maximum possible. Then you have a couple of choices for your disc format. You can have an audio CD, an MP3 CD, or a data CD or DVD. For most audio CD players, you will want the audio CD option. As you see, you can select a gap between songs, and this is the amount of time between each song that is played that you want um, in between. The sound check um, plays all the songs on the CD at an equal level, and the CD text is for um, CD players that have a built-in text feature which can display the song that is playing. And it will read the text on the CD so that um, it'll display what is playing. An MP3 CD can normally only be read by computers. Um, some CD players have the ability to do this, but not many. Um, data CD is basically just the files stored on a CD. So for this, I'm going to choose Audio CD. I want to have three seconds between songs. I'm going to include the CD text. Then you click on Burn. As you see at the top, it says, please insert a blank disk. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, I have inserted the disk. It's now saying, checking media. Then, it'll start writing on the disk. As you see, it's going to start with the first song and work its way through. The first song is jump on it. Now this process will take um, it'll take a certain amount of time depending on how many songs you have. As you'll see, it says burning disk finishing. This is the final step of the burning process. Once iTunes has finished completing the burning process, it'll bring you to this screen. Um, you can just hit the eject button up here, and it will automatically eject the CD for you. 
And there you go. You now have a disc that you can play in any audio CD player. Thanks so much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.